Hey everyone, Kevin A. Creedon, the man behind King Size Customs. Uh, today we're going to do an unboxing. Um, before I get to it, I need to let you guys know some things, but cool things. Um, so, some of you may or may not have seen that I went to the uh, Central Pennsylvania Collectors Con, so CPCC. I met Sean Taylor, he's a really cool guy. I met a couple of other guys who were uh, not so cool, but... We don't need to talk about that. But one person I met coming home from the convention who was super cool was William Waiters. Now, I've met him in person one time before. A couple of years ago, he was uh, actually down my way at my local flea market on Mother's Day. So we got to hang out for a few hours on that day. Uh, I saw him yesterday, Sunday, as I'm recording this video on a Monday. Um dude is awesome so if you have his contact information take some time uh call him text him he's he's a really awesome guy uh his generosity never ceases to amaze me he's super generous i mean this is just uh, this is just one box out of like four i mean there's there's another big box like a medium flat rate but the really square one um, there's bags, like three shopping size bags, and then there's uh, another big box, and I mean, uh, it never ceases to amaze me. Um, so he saw my video from when I was at the convention, he's like, dude, uh, I'm not doing anything Sunday, and I'm only an hour away from where you are, so if you want to stop by, if you can, please stop by, and I'm like, okay. So we stopped by, my mom and my two little cousins and I stopped by. Um, we hung out for a long, long while. I had a box of cars and I had some stuff from the uh, collector's con to actually give to him. And one of the things was something he was really looking for and I'm really happy I could get it for him. So, And then, you know, my, my oldest nephew really liked uh, Willie, you know, really liked hanging out with him. Uh, Billy, I know you're watching this. Uh, my youngest nephew, Luke, really did love his Optimus Prime that you gave to him. And my mom and sister kept talking about how uh, it's like an old Optimus Prime from the 80s and how you don't see that anymore and how that's really cool. My sister thought it was awesome that I could go see you and that we could take the little nephews along. Um, you know, uh, we'll probably plan another trip up to see you if you have time, like maybe around, uh, I don't know. Maybe around fall before it starts getting really cold up there. But And my mom would love to come and have a picnic with you guys. And we'd love to kind of do something. Oh, my camera's slipping. But, yeah. But mostly on your terms. Sorry that my camera work is uh, not of the greatest quality here. Trying to balance a phone. Alright. Here's hoping that doesn't go. But on to the video. Like I said, this will have this might be in multiple parts if I haven't said that before. Uh, Billy always packs a box as super heavy as he can. I'm pretty sure there's a picture of him at his local post office saying, "Please don't pick up packages for this guy." But always an awesome time to hang out with you too. Uh, I mean, this guy's got a pantry of diecast. What can I say? And always willing to share. Always has a moment for collector uh that's actually how i kind of got started in the hobby him and two other collectors really helped me out gave me stuff and i'm talking like 25 pound packages so but i think we all know the origin story here Kitchen knife, kitchen knife, kitchen knife. Jeez, Billy. It was only coming to Delaware. <laughs>
Hey, I'm just kidding, man. These boxes are always a challenge for people, so. Let's see. There we go. We're in it. Oh, man, you got this packed to the gills of card and cars here. Let's see if I move that. Yep. Okay. Sorry, guys. That's a little Hummer that I bought from another show that just was distracting me. Oh, man. Now, Billy said this will be as much of a surprise to him as it is to me because he packed it a while ago. So he doesn't know what's in there, and it looks like some really good stuff right on top. Which, Billy never gives you anything that you didn't want. Oh, wow. I've been seeing these on the internet. So that's the super fast Cadillac with the box. These are the, I want to say like the 2000 release. They were before my time, like before I got into collecting. But Oh, and there's the Fleetwood. It's a really nice casting. I really did like these super fast series from what I saw of them. He knows I'm a Mustang guy. Oh, is this... I believe you may have picked me up the set. But if not, you picked up some really cool ones, dude. I really do appreciate that. A lot of these... If I have extras of these, a lot of them are going to be made into customs. Oh, yeah. The 2 plus 2 Fastback... It's a really nice car. Uh, there's more on top here. Oh, yeah. I believe I have one of these, so one of these is going to be made into the custom uh, Gone in 60 Seconds Mustang from the very first Gone in 60 Seconds from 1974. Oh, I was asking for one of these. I had one where I was cutting the hood off, and I think I lost the car itself and the hood. Oh, sweet. The funny car and the 67 coupe. Mustang funny car, 67 coupe. Here's the coupe here. What is this? Oh. Always love this body. Well, when I started collecting, when I met a friend out, after hanging out with him, I always loved the body style. Oh, sweet. This is the M3, the 92 M3. I, in one of my video games, I've actually driven one of those, and that's what I uh, started out drifting in. 99 Mustang. Sweet. Oh, man. <laughs> oh. That's awesome. That is an SRT10 Dodge 1500. Yeah. I mean, that girl, in real life, the hood, actually, the girl came up with the hood. My dad had something like that. He didn't have the SRT10, but I always loved that style of truck. Ah, oh, sweet. The M1 BMW. I couldn't really find any of these. I think I only found, like, maybe one. I love to do custom. I'd love to do a Zamac of that because I think it would look awesome. All right, we got three here. So we have the E thirty six race. It's a good looking casting. I know these are probably old, and you've probably seen a million of them. I've only seen like maybe a few of these. The M3, newer M3. The Z, BMW Z4M. I haven't seen this car at all. I think this may have been a chase. I think. Not sure, but I think it was. See, a lot of these to me are chases because my area didn't really get the set. 
They got parts of it, but oh. I saw this at the toy show. I was like, you know what? I don't think I'll pick it up. And I was kicking myself because we had left before I could go back to go do some more room to room buying. And it was like, eh. I might be able to scrounge one off of eBay. Oh, dude, all the colors. I need to do a Dodge dealership on my layout now because now we have, like, now I have all three colors of, or not all three, but now I've got, like, a couple of colors of that truck. Oh, sweet. There's a silver and black one. Silver with black stripes. It's awesome. Also, I wanted to give a huge shout-out to Willie, William Witter's son. He let me have his old farm toys. There's a lot of tractors. There's a actual like 164 scale uh, combine harvester in there from John uh, John Deere. Um, I went through that box, William. I saw the other couple of cars you threw in. There was a Bronco in there. There was a uh, 2014 Dodge Ram Sport. You didn't have to do that, man, but I thank you for it. Oh, oh. Another BMW M1. That's getting customized. I had been looking for this. I never found one in any of my stores. And then I paid uh, Jeremy for his custom Lolo one. And now I have one of my own. That'll probably get some basic detail. Another thing, William was super cool. Um, I had a couple of customs. I had a Thunderbolt. I had a Dodge Ram truck that I made a long bed. I had a uh, 64 Impala, the Glitter Blast green one, and then the Chevy Step, the Chevy Silverado from the Camo series. He wanted my customs, which was really super, made me super happy. Um, what else was in there? Uh, there was the Dodge Ram truck, there was the Thunderbolt, there was... Uh, anyway, there were three cars in one bag. <laughs> You all know why. I mean, I am a scale guy. I love my uh, 1 to 64 scale, like DCPs and hurdles. But you know what? For a layout, I actually should probably hold on to a lot of my... Uh, these are 172nd, so these look cool if you're doing a layout and you want to give yourself a little bit of uh, perspective. It makes them look like the camera's actually like you're far away from the truck. So... Oh, we got Lucy's in here, too. Super heavy Lucy's. Oh, uh, M3 GT2. Sweet. The card's a little bit. But I don't care. It's probably going to get cracked. Let's see what else is in here with the card and stuff, and then I'll go through the Lucy's. Oh, there's a, there's a Hot Wheels retro in here. And then this isn't it, but... What... No way. No way. Like I was saying, they actually did it right this time. Racing Champions did. The girl comes up with the hood. Oh, that's the rear. Sorry. The girl comes up with the hood. I love getting these trucks all the time. Like I said, I'll probably do a Dodge dealership on my layout when I have that future layout set up. Yo! Ghostbusters! Ecto-1A. Or no, Ecto-1. Okay, I've never seen this in stores. Um, I might also... My mom, they had a slack car track set up, and my nephews loved it. So, um, I'm looking at, like, the Auto World slack car tracks. So, you may see video of uh, Ghostbusters... Ecto 1A on a slot car track going around. Ooh, what is this? Oh, sweet. Okay. This is a, it looks like an M2 model kit. Oh, it is. This is an M2 model kit. You put it together or, yeah. 
And he has all the little parts in a sandwich bag, which is awesome. That way they're, I'm not trying to come through the box for parts. <laughs> Tractor with its tracks. Yeah, there's Lucy's in here. For days. Oh, hold on. Hold on, there's something in here. Is this a... Oh, BMW motorcycle. It's K1300. That's cool, man. That looks awesome. What is this? Besides really, really cool. See, he knows I love my junker cars. And this one's really junked up. I mean, it is... You know, I know some of you guys are like, I wouldn't buy cars that are all beat up, but if you're doing a junkyard, just look for, like, little kids' collections where they've played with them hard. I mean, this is a... Chrysler 300C, I believe. We got some really nice... It's like a brown. It looks rusted. This might even be an M2. I think this is an early M2, like an auto project. I can't really tell. But it's awesome. It's missing a door. It's missing the headlights. Yeah, that looks cool. It's been robbed of its wheels. Oh, sweet. Is this... This looks like a DeLorean here. Oh no, it's an M1. It's an open M1, so I can get right to drilling them apart and stripping it and making my Zamac M1. Solid metal dump truck. I've got a few of these, so I'm definitely going to try to do like a mill or a quarry. Oh. Got a few of those. John uh, John Deere uh, grass cart. Those are good for uh, your farm displays. I only have one other of these from that box. Yeah, William, I went through the entire box. So I should probably do a video on that. But that's awesome. Oh! 5.0 matchbacks. Highway Patrol. I've only found like maybe six or seven. I'm trying to build a fleet of certain cars too. Another one of those. Really cool. They're cool to do civilian. Make them civilianized. Another tractor with its tracks. That one actually, believe it or not, if you play with it, rolls really well. It's got a static, uh, static scoop, but who cares? I'm like a kid on Christmas morning. Forklift here sweet oh somebody must have owed somebody a little money here we got a Volkswagen or wait that's the trunk so of course that's going to be open sorry I felt like it had a hitch for a moment but hey Detailed bumper. I mean, really? You can't complain here. Ooh, pipe truck. You got pipes here. That's really cool. If you ever lose them or you want to make more, uh, sorry if you're in California, but if you ever lose these and you want to make more straws, I guess if you're in California, uh, styrene tubes. Ooh, another one of those. Hey, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. No. I don't think this is an M1. This feels a little too heavy to be an M1. This is... Oh, Billy, did you know you sent me this? This is the original uh, DeLorean. So, there's a DMC-12 that looks a lot like this car. This was when they had a falling out, and I forget what this was called. I think this was like a super turbo or, but it's a Hot Wheels black wall from the 80s. I mean, those wheels just set it right off. That's awesome. That's not getting touched. That's staying as is. We got a, I want to say this is a like big tow truck. 
Needs a little work, but who cares? The grill on it's awesome. Oh, cool. It looks like a... I don't know. It's a piece of farm equipment, maybe? You guys tell me what it is, those of you who know what that is. Bulldozer. You can never have enough uh, farm equipment or construction equipment. Giant dump truck or grader. Oh, cool. This is a matchbox because it's really clean looking. No, it's a Hot Wheels. Holy crap. It's a really clean looking Hot Wheel. I mean, yeah, it's lacking in detail, but... That's the way they do it, so us customizers or us people who are trying to practice customizing can add our own details to it. It's part of the fun, guys. Bulldozer, black wall bulldozer from the Workhorses series, I believe. More bulldozers. You can never have enough of them, especially if you're doing a quarry scene. Tractor, and then here's the tractor, BMW M1, awesome. Or 1M, it was BMW's failure, they have an article on that. Forklift, I love me some forklifts, man. Oh, cool. I know. Okay. That other little truck where I was asking you what it was, it was a crane. The hook had just broken off. So I could Jimmy Rig a paper clip and get me a hook. Really cool industrial forklift. Kenworth cement mixer. With the mixer still on and it's still... Oh, sorry about that. <laughs> My bad. It felt like it was attached a little bit better. <sighs> no way. Okay. That's awesome. Chrysler 300 taxi or Matchbox original taxi, but the rear lights make you think it's a Chrysler 300. They also use this casting for a limo a lot. Red DeLorean. So I'm also going to take one of these apart, probably this one, and strip it down. Uh, I have a video coming up soon of the silver truck, the sh totally stripped down silver truck. Sweet. So this is actually not a uh, regular tractor you would see on Farmer Brown's, or maybe it is, but a lot of these are like racing tractors. I mean, the exhaust stack's a little, it's a little bent, but hey, it was in a box for a little while. What do you expect? Oh, sweet. What is this? Who's this made by? The wheels are really cool. It's actually a really good car. I mean, might not be 164th, but it's close enough. 57 Chevrolet Bel Air made really well. Like, that's really prototypical. Except maybe the wheels, but then again, the wheels are really cool too. I haven't seen a lot of wheels like that. Oh, it looks like it's a Johnny Lightning. It is. Oh, it's... It was part of those two part, two piece wheels. It rolls. I mean, you can't see it, but it rolls. Somebody stole the tires and hubcaps. 
It's what happens in bad neighborhoods. <laughs> Industrial forklift. Got a couple of those now. Those are awesome for, uh, I want to say your construction applications. Lawn cart for your tractor. That's really cool. That's really cool, man. See, I love finding the farm toys, too, in here. Ah, another ammonia sprayer. Think I'll have a train of these for the uh, fields on my layout. By the way, I keep saying on my layout, on my layout, on my layout. My brother and I were talking the other day, and I might have a small layout, so. That's a cool-looking taxi. I wouldn't mind being picked up in one of these. What do we have here? Ah, convertible Chevrolet Camaro. Newer Camaro, but still. Or no. Yeah, newer Camaro, but still kind of cool. No, actually, that's a 60s Camaro. Maybe this is the Camaro concept. Doesn't matter, but still. Cool looking Camaro. Hot Wheels, you did all right on that one. Tractor. Oh, cool. That's it, guys. We have a tractor and a boat trailer here, too. So there's the tractor with the scoop. That's for bailing hay, like picking up hay. And then here's a boat trailer. So and it's one of those, like, Matchbox ones. So you just stick the uh, hook of the Matchbox truck in there and you just haul your trailer or your cars. Thanks, William. That was awesome, man. A lot of great stuff in here. A lot of good. Some of it, of course, is customized, you know, is for the customizer, but I'm a customizer, so. But, yeah, a lot of great stuff. I was totally taken by surprise by the M2 Auto Kit. Uh, that actually might become a custom, might become a junkyard dog, so. Well, guys, thanks for watching. If you know William and you haven't spoken to him for a while, his contact information hasn't changed, give him a call. He's a cool guy. He's worth your time. So thanks again, William. Thanks again, Win uh, thanks again, Willie. Thanks again, Lindsay, for having us and letting my two little nephews play with your games. And it's a great time. I hope you guys enjoyed my presence. I know I'm kind of like a bump in a log, bump on a log sometimes. If you're wondering why my words are all getting all messed up, I'm still tired. It was hard. The trip was hard on me. I stayed up late. Did all the kinds of stuff you're not supposed to do, but I was on vacation.